Chiquinho! It's your boy Fist in the house! Bring another great edition of Call of Duty for me to you because that's what I do. My weekly video! I'm so glad to be chilling with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your week. I'm here with the week in review Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, MLG. The whole shebang a dang dang did da dang da dang dang. I used to like the MTAR was really nice in this game, and I think last week we talked about a lot of things. Um, and the one thing I wanted to talk about today that really was interesting to me was about YouTube and the gaming scene on YouTube, and everything that it has to do with. You know, uh, the vacuum that YouTube created for gaming. I know if you've been around on YouTube since 2006, you know that you knew that or you knew that uh, gaming was really on the front page of YouTube all the time. And YouTube had, a, had an opportunity to make YouTubeGaming.com. I mean, they, they could have easily done that. But instead, for some reason, whoever made those decisions, in hindsight, they were bad decisions because I'm going to discuss those in a second. But uh, YouTube wanted to go in the direction of making creative content like for videos rather than even acknowledging gaming. And so you had this huge vacuum. They got rid of all, almost every single person that did gaming. They basically, I don't know, uh, railroaded them off of the front page because all the other people were complaining. And they got railroaded off. And so what happened was a lot of people went to Twitch, you know, dot TV started and and for some reason uh, PewDiePie, you know, who does gaming videos or basically screams and, you know, acts ridiculous in gaming videos. And I guess YouTube deemed that like entertainment, but it was still under the gaming section. The guy winds up with 27 million. He's he's a number one subscribe person that does gaming and you know there was a there was a piece on him in wall street journal where he makes four million dollars a year off of this and i and you know it just it just really uh rubbed me the wrong way because there was tons of us out there that were doing that were doing great videos gaming videos and because of creative youtubers complained about you know uh Call of Duty people and other people reaching the front page, we were railroaded, you know. But here you go, here for what is it, 2006, here we are, eight years later, nine years later. Um, you know, PewDiePie basically absorbed all of just every single gaming subscriber on YouTube because of the way YouTube, you know, handled the whole situation. And now he's like representing gaming. But the whole thing is, is that now the decision that YouTube had made in the past, they're backtracking on their bad decisions. They're going back and buying Twitch for a billion dollars. They're probably going to wind up buying MLG TV for a billion dollars. So all of these separate entities of gamers who went into their own direction and who knows what else is out there. I mean, basically... YouTube has turned into Facebook, and when gaming was the most powerful form, was the po most powerful, uh, what was the most powerful viewership on YouTube? They could have spun off YouTube.com. They could have incorporated Twitch TV and MLG TV and everything to do with gaming, but they totally just X'd it out, or, or just they picked and choose what they was going to be watched. And then, uh, now they're paying for it in hindsight. Not only are they paying in, in it for the fact that most of the subscribers are subscribed to for um, PewDiePie. I don't even understand like his type of gaming commentary. You know, how it's even... I mean, some of it, maybe one or two videos are funny. But him getting two or three million views and being the most subscribed YouTuber. It just, that is the reason why. If you want to know why PewDiePie is so big, it's because YouTube chose him as what gaming YouTube videos should be on YouTube. Now instead, 
YouTubers backtracking by paying through it through their nose. Now they're going to have to pay for Twitch for a billion and everybody, every other form that there was under them in the first place. So basically they're pulling a the Facebook. So if you want to make a billion dollars off of YouTube and you know that gaming is the number one viewership in the world on the internet, all you have to do is design a some other type of of thing that YouTube is not offering. It's basically cutting off. And see, that's the thing. Gamers are like water. They just flow into something else. And if you could design something else that flows into the, a viewership, YouTube will come along and buy you for a billion dollars, like they are doing now. So all the mistakes that they've made and the decisions that they made instead of just making a YouTube gaming dot com form, now they're paying for it in the form of dot TV acquisitions. And it's the same thing. They run the same parallel as Facebook and they're going out they're going out and buying all these company or buying all these entities that were gamers just flowed to. So if you're wondering what happened, you know, and you think that uh, uh, casual gameplay had died on Call of Duty or Call of Duty casual gameplay or any casual gameplay had died on YouTube, it didn't die on YouTube. It was railroaded by YouTube. And now they're going back. Because if it had died, and everybody's saying, oh, Call of Duty died, and this died, and that died. I've been here since day one, so I know. Now, if it had died, then YouTube wouldn't be paying a billion dollars for Twitch. That was under YouTube in the first place. And they let it go. They're going to they're gonna wind up buying MLG. Anything with .TV, anything that has anything to do with inter internet streaming video that gets big is going to get bought by YouTube or Facebook for that for that matter. I wouldn't be surprised if MLG winds up being bought by Facebook for the simple reason is that they own the Oculus. So uh, I, I think that we're going into a different form of entertainment in the future and that, you know, we're competing for people's eyes and time. And, you know, uh, YouTube had a huge opportunity in 2010 and 9. And they took all that away. They took it all away from everybody. They gave it to one or two people on YouTube. And that's basically what they want to see in YouTube gaming, whatever. That's fine. They just left, went somewhere else, and now you're paying billions of dollars. So, I mean, I guess it's instead of just spreading the money amongst everybody, just... Go ahead and buy whatever, and then people will just run and do something else. But, you know, that's that's my little story for you today. If you haven't been around YouTube and you don't know what's going on, you wonder why PewDiePie and you, you just understand why he's so big, there you go. You know, I mean, uh, you have a couple other guys that are trying to be like PewDiePie. You, you know they're out there with the CNNers, a couple other dudes that are just trying to hold the same role. I mean, you know, they're not making millions, but they're making hundreds of thousands. Might as well copy them. But uh, anyways, you want to check out my second commentary of the day uh, for this week, go to Fist 2. The link is in the description below, and I thank you guys for stopping by. And next week, um, if, you, if you want to talk about something, hit me up on Twitter, what you want me to discuss. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace, and I'm out.